Hi everyone, this is Catherine. I'm here to do an updated video on my system, planner system. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen that I've switched covers. Um, I love switching covers. Uh, this is something that I'm only experimenting this year um, because I, I tend to, I try to as much as possible to stay in the same thing that I started out in the beginning of the year. But this year I kind of set out, um, I started out this year by saying, you know, I'm not gonna force myself to stay in one thing. I'm just gonna explore, go out and have fun and figure out what works for me. And if switching covers makes it more interesting and just keep me uh, more motivated to plan, then, you know, let it be. So that's what I did. And um, about a month ago, I purchased this, this um, A5 Campania in Gil uh, from Gilio Ferranzi in this gorgeous green color. I've always wanted a green leather cover. Um, originally, I was shopping around on Chic Sparrow. I was looking at some of their green leather, but um, I just, I don't really want a traveler's notebook or a folio. Uh, anymore um, so I don't know it, was, it just looked too rustic for me so um, and when I went on to the Julio website I this color was out of stock for the longest time and one day I just randomly checked and it was magically in stock so I jumped on it right away um, so I always wanted to eventually move into an A5 rings ring binder um originally i started out um uh, with two personal size i first had just this one which is the louis vuitton in mm size and then i added this um aubergine uh jelly aubergine uh which i purchased second hand and it's just so gorgeous. I haven't had the heart to actually take it out because it's just so pretty. I don't want it to remain pink and pretty and not dirty. So it's just been sitting at home. But I've been using these two as my kind of at-home binder. Um, partially because um, I just have too much information to put in one binder. And I also didn't want to bulk up my Louis Vuitton too much because, you know, I don't want to have the cover band in any kind of way so I was in two personal size so this one was more of the personal stuff and then this one was more for business or like my side stuff side hustles um so I was using these two and then you know one day I decided that I didn't like being in two different binders um, just because when I'm doing personal stuff, I'm also like thinking about business stuff. So I want to kind of just live in one place, which is why I ultimately decided to get an A5 Campania. Um, so um, for the longest time, I kind of hesitated from buying the Gilio just because I know the rings are 25 millimeter and I felt like that would be too small for how I wanted to use it for. Um, but then I I, um, I was talking to Jenny um, on Instagram and um, she told me that VDS has, Offenders Back has the 35 millimeter ring. So I decided to just like jump on it and you know, um, be brave and switch out the rings myself. I know a lot of people do it, but um, I have never done it before, so I did that. It was actually quite easy. I put the process in my highlight section. So I think it's titled 35 millimeter rings. So you're gonna see that if you're interested. Um, so the pro whole process was really easy. I'm really happy in this now. It contains all of my, kind of my entire life in here. So, okay, I'm gonna just stop chit-chatting and I'm gonna jump right on right in um going through all my system so um first of all if you want to think of my system this way i think it's just easier one set of planners are for home only and then one set is for on the go so 
My home planners are the A5 rings and a A5 Apunto with a A5 notebook, notebook inside. So the thing about me is that I always need a notebook uh, accompanying the rings because I just don't think well when I'm in the rings. Just something about just the awkwardness of writing in rings it just doesn't do it for me. So my rings are always for references and just like filling out essential information. Um, and then my notebook is where all the like planning and sketching out things, ideas that happens in the notebooks. So this is a set for at home. And then for on the go, I had my A6 Mulberry. Um, so this is also a ring, uh, ring binder. And I used to carry this round before this whole quarantine thing happened. Um, and then I had this A6 um, Bujo as part of this. So I didn't have a cover, I just put it here and I could still um, button this. See, it still buttons. I'm still able to close it off like that. Look at how much it can, it can fit. Um, so this is how I carried it around without the cover for the A6, of course. Um, so this is a ring portion. And then I also had a notebook just for like to-dos, um, to-dos and brain dump. So that's what that was. So then, um, Obviously at home, I'm not really using this brewing binder because um, I'm not going anywhere. I can just be in my A5, which is which has been amazing just because I don't have to transfer things. Uh, everything just happens in one place, but this is honestly just too heavy for me to carry around. So I'm not gonna even attempt that because I, I actually commute into New York every day and I take the subway for for like 30 minutes so and not I don't always have a seat so it's just not feasible um so then I was itching for something new so I shopped my stash and I decided that I wanted to move into my personal uh personal size medium Campania uh from Jillio Franze this is the rust from Jillio and I'm gonna use it with my ASIC so that's just how it's gonna be these two, that's how, well, that's what I'm gonna be carrying around. Um, I was really sad when I moved out of my personal binders um, into the A5 because I just missed how compact that size was. I know a lot of people think it's kind of awkward, but because I have a notebook to accompany the personal size, it's just perfect. So I decided that I'm going to switch between my A6 and um, my personal size uh, for the everyday carry. So that's just going to be this and that. So this is for everyday carry and these two are for home at home binder, at home planners. Um, so I will show you what I have going on in here mainly today because, um, these are the two, uh, binders and, you know, notebooks that I'm using at home strictly for a month now. And I just, I love everything about it. So, uh, I'm going to go through, uh, which one should I do first? I'll, I'll go through my Croco. Um, actually, I'll do my binder first just because it's more, it has like more info in it. Um, so this is a green from Jillio. It's perfect. I love the green with the gold. It's just like such a beautiful combination. And it's just, I always liked this type of green. Um, funny thing is that I'm painting my, uh, walking, I'm redoing my walk-in closet. I'm, uh, I have changed it into an office slash closet and I painted my wall pretty much this color. Um, and I'm going to paint my dresser this color, um, that's in the front of the pink wall. So I really like that jewel tone 
anyways so i don't have anything in these pockets i'm just not like i'm not used to putting things in pockets because i'm always scared to stretch them out even though you know it's mine i'm probably going to keep it but i just i don't feel good putting things in i'm probably going to start stuffing them eventually when I, when things come in but for now i just have it empty and all of the stickers and whatnot are just in the drawers right next to my desk so i don't really need to keep them in here and then in the back pocket this is great because i can fit the letter size um, documents in there um it's just like bills and whatnot things that i have to do right away so that's the front cover. It's like really simple. I just have an Ollie clip. Um, this is my first Ollie clip. I don't know what I'm clipping yet, but it's just there, just in case I need to clip something. Um, uh, I just want I just want to warn you guys. Um, I'm not completely done with setting up this planner. Um, it's very very bare bones in terms of decorations. So it's just gonna be purely function right now. And I like to add in the decoration last. So, um, I so for now I'm using all of these tabs from uh, Post It. I got them from Amazon. I got this idea from Mermaid and Lace. Um, I was thinking of doing something like this, but I didn't know where to get um, tabs like this. That would be uh more durable than just like a flimsy post-it but i saw her um flip of her gm and she had these and i thought that was br brilliant so i got them and i really like this because i have do you see how many sections i have i'm not gonna i don't want to have those um actual physical dividers because it's just gonna take up too much space and I like this because I can change out the section all the time, uh, anytime I want to. And I can also, instead of like changing the divider, I can just like shift the tabs to whichever position needs to be in. So I always want to start my planner with goals and inspiration. Um, I never start with the calendar just because I want to open my planner and the first thing I want to see is what inspires me and that sets out my whole routine. Like when I open it, I want to see why I'm inspired to do what I do. So obviously I covered up some stuff, but you know, um, I'm sorry. I just can't show you everything. Um, but all of the inserts here are from available from my shop on Etsy. It's, I'll link it down below, but um, I just released a bunch of stuff on there. 50 something uh, inserts, I offer nine sizes. So you can go in and just check them out. And I also um, accept custom orders. And also if you see something that's not available in another size, I can always um, convert that for you um, at no additional charge. So that's that. Um, and so the first page is my dream. This is just like my vision. I just like close my eyes first thing. Uh, I close my eyes and just like kind of envision myself in the future. Like what kind of life do I want to live? What am I doing in this life? Um, stuff like that. For example, like when it's very specific, like when I want to retire, where I want to live, what kind of house am I in? Who am I with? Um, you know what am i doing with my kids what am i doing with my husband what am i doing with my free time like all of that stuff is very very specific here and i always want to just remind myself of that every time i open my planner so it's really important for that to be on the front page so that's the first page and then on the back side i have um go daily reminder so in order to accomplish that i just have a set of things that i need to do um, to get me to that life that I envision for myself, envision for myself. So I just have a set of things, just like really simple. This is what less than 10 items that I just need to um, keep reminding myself of. Um, one of them is just like, does this action help me towards my, uh, to help me toward, to 
get to where I need to be. And that's just something I have to ask myself all the time, whenever I want to just like sit there and watch TV and like, does this help me in any way? Like I always have to ask myself that. So I like to just like look at this every day. Um, and then this page, I really love this. I actually pulled from uh, one of my favorite books. It's um, the Think and Grow Rich book. I know it sounds tacky, but it's actually really famous. It was written in the 30s during the Great Depression. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And um, it's one of my favorite books. And they had this um, one page of self-confidence formula. And, um, you know, if you're interested, you can just like zoom in and check this out or just like Google search it. But I just want to read this and kind of remind myself of what that is. And then I have my goals section and I write out my the year of when I wrote this. And I have three categories, personal, career, family. And then I have someday and that's just like the big picture like where what what is my ultimate goal like it doesn't matter no goal is too big and too outrageous it's just like whatever it is i just write it down for family it's really simple um but for personal career it's just like more ambitious um and then i go to my five-year goal which is like a little bit okay more toned down like what can i accomplish in five years and i try to just go bigger than I know I can achieve just so I can push myself and then I break it down to one year so every year what do I, where do I need to be and then I break that down to monthly weekly and daily and it just this whole process really helped me to see okay in order to get to the someday goal what do I do what I need to do every single day what do I need to do every week and what's going to happen is that when I'm writing, planning out the week, I look at this and I say, okay, this week I need to be doing this many hours on this, this many hours on this, and like, what do I need to do? So that's what this is for. Um, and then I have another section uh, uh, on the back side, just for you know additional things that might come up and I want to fill out here. So that's the goals section, and then routines is um these are all blank and it's just everything is blank and it's the same exact answer as this it's just not filled out and the same thing i have personal business family home and the way i broke this out is by sunday night because sunday night is different from the weekend because sunday night i'm preparing for the following week and planning everything out. So I want to follow just like what's out here. And then Monday through Thursday is one category. And Friday night is a huge thing where I do get a bunch of stuff done and I also plan out the weekend. And then the weekend is Saturday and Sunday during the day. And then I have monthly and I also have every quarter. So this is not completely filled out yet, but it's just like as I'm doing stuff on a daily basis i just i would just think of something and i will come back here and just like fill stuff out um this is not complete yet and then again there's the back section and this pull out actually made for my personal binder when i was in the louis vuitton um and i just basically kind of put inspirational like you know those like pinterest um images of like quotes and whatnot and i just pulled those and saved the ones i liked and i made two pages of it and i just that's just something i read through every day in the morning um or at night before my whole like working session begins so i really like this that's that i didn't want to have to redo redo this so i just pulled it out and i cut out the corner and it fits really well in here um and then i have my affirmations so i just read through that and quotes um so as you can see like this first section is just for stuff that motive like the first portion is just to motivate me and just like get me pumped up for you know however many hours i'm working after opening this 
And so these are just like a series of quotes that I got from books and whatever. I I do have a little reading journal and I would highlight, um, I would like write down um, the paragraphs that I liked and I also highlight the key quotes that I liked. And so that's where I pulled all the quotes from. And then I recently saw this, if feel like it, do it. So, you know, it's for those days when you just don't feel like doing something, but you know, instead of feeling like you don't feel like doing something, just say, feel like it and just do it. And then I have this uh, undated weekly uh, insert, uh, just to kind of write down the things that I'm working on each, each day. I went through an exercise before to kind of break down, okay, how many hours do I have after work? And then how many things do I need to do? And um, how many hours can I uh, give to each of these items? And then I kind of alternated them. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday are the same. And then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are the same. And then Sunday is just for family time and meal prep and all that stuff. So I just want to kind of remind myself, okay, these are the things that I need to work on on Monday and then Tuesday and so forth. Um, and then I try to group the different things that are related to each other together. Just so if something needs to, like, for example, art, like that's related to quite a couple Oh, quite a few sections so i i grouped it with um the sections related to it uh and then i just have sort of a breakdown of a schedule this is very preliminary um but it's just stuff like read 20, pa 20 pages before bed commute during a commute listen to podcast get out fit ready for next day i never do that i just i try to be better with that because in the morning i'm always scrambling um and then set intentions for next day I drink water um oh no Th these are the things i have to do uh every night just to, to make sure i wake up on time in the morning um because i i get really cold easily so if it if it's really cold i don't want to get up so i want to set my heater to a timer so that it heats up the room before i wake up <laughs> And then that's the back page is blank right now. And then this is my tracker. Um, I have realized that I don't work well with um, habit trackers. I just can't keep up with it. So I came up with a really simple tracker and this is just to um, track my intent, like whether I have lived my life intentionally. I have no idea what that is. Um, so, just whether I have lived that day with intention and whether I work towards my goal or not, or did I just bum around and sit on the couch and just like watch TV and do nothing and just like go on my phone, um, which is okay sometimes because I want to take a break from time to time. But, um, so I just, I, I would just like check each box if I lived it with intention. And then this, these are just the months. And then these are the, date, the dates. Um, and then I have a calendar section for 2020 with uh, grid. This is the gridded version. I also have it in plain. Um, but what this is, is it's not a calendar. It's where I kind of just write down what I did that day towards my goal. So I just fill that out as I go. Uh, obviously, uh, January through March, I didn't fill out because I didn't have this planner set up yet. Um, so that's 2020. And then, the, and then after that, I just have one sheet for uh, a running to-do list. Um, so if I need to just like get done, but no timeline. Uh, and I'm using this little cheeky post-it uh, to tab it. Uh, it's from Moji Things. It just reminds me of my baby. It's just like the, the lips, the red lips and um, the hair. And just that look. Uh, it's really cute. Uh, and then the next section is my calendar portion. It's pretty straightforward. I just like write down like the appointments and to-dos like major to-dos um 
anniversary birthdays and all that so i just have the monthly in the calendar section i don't need the weekly i don't need daily because that all of that is going to be in my notebook um so that's that and then i have the brain food section which is just like readings and podcasts so i have a section for self-development um books and then uh, I have a list of podcasts here and any kind of digital uh, content. And then I have a section for my fiction books. I have a lot of them at home. So these are only the physical books that I own. And then on the back side, I am going to fill out my digital um, books that I have. And I'm trying to not buy too many books, um, too many physical books, because I don't want to have too much stuff in my home. Um, and then the next portion is Sterling Ink. That's my Etsy shop, printable shop. Um, and all of these inserts are from my printable shop. So the first page is just a grid paper. I love grid paper. That's like my favorite. Um, the first page is just like notes and suggestions from PR team. I, uh, if you follow my Instagram, you know, I have my first ever PR team now. Yay. I'm so excited. They are so nice. Oh my God. I have seven, seven girls. They are like the best. I love them. Um, and then I have some to do's. I love these post-its. These are from Moji things and they can fold like that. And then you can fold out. I just thought that was really cute. So I like that. And then I have my PR team. They're amazing. I have their names because sometimes they don't have that in the profile. And then uh, I have just like more to-do lists. And this is just like they have requested some inserts. So I just like kept track, of, uh, had, had them listed out just to make sure I check off everything. Cause they send me um instagram dms and it's just like really hard to track it and then i have a section for releases um so i just like kind of write down what i released on what day uh, just so i can keep track um this is my notes inserts um i have the tick marks on top and the bottom so it helps me to just like transform it to any kind of insert i want to so that's really nice and then i have custom order log i don't have too many right now um these are just like purely custom like stuff that's not even on my shop and someone requested and i make it so that's that uh, this is the list insert and this one also has the tick marks on top and the bottom so that it's really like easy to just like change it to however you want it to um so like here i drew out the lines and then I'm just starting to track my Instagram um because I've never done that before but I just thought that would be interesting to see the difference um and then these are just like inserts requested by people and I just track if I made something if I listed something and I, if I sent that person um this like a message thing is ready um so that's that more list insert note insert um so that's my sterling ink portion and i'm gonna have more, like this is this planner is not complete yet so i am gonna have like a kind of an income tracker and all of that other good stuff in there later i'm still working on it and then i have the planning section where it's just gonna be i'm gonna be listing out all of my planners that I have and just like track like how much I spent on each and if I sold something how much did I sell it for um and then it's also gonna have it's also gonna be the place where I kind of uh, write down planning ideas like the things I learned from other people and just like take notes um art section I want to catalog all my art pieces. I don't have too many right now, but hopefully I have more. This is just where I took notes for uh, the meanings of birds and flowers that I want to paint. Uh, originally, I was going to do a series of painting in my bedroom, but now that we did the renovation, I'm going to 
I'm still gonna use this for my walk-in closet because I'm painting that on the wall, on the pink wall in the front of my desk. And then I have art supplies. So I, I was doing some research for the acrylic colors I need um, for the mural that I'm painting. And then uh, I want to keep track of like the time I spent doing my art, just like, just so I can, you know, just, I know like how, how much of time I spent on doing art, like, if I, it's blank, if it's blank, it's really bad. Um, walking closet, I have just like a sheet for that mural piece that I'm planning so I can write down notes uh, for the composition. And then I have my home projects section. And this is also for my other account, Catman Cave with my husband, which is, that's more of a home, uh, home interiors account where we just post stuff with like, our apartment and the renovations uh, we're both the interior designers and I'm an architect as well so um, that's just like another passion of mine so it's really fun to do stuff uh, for that and I'm just tracking like all the projects that we did in our home since moving in and then I have a purchase list um, so just like the furniture I need to buy just so if I like go to the store or like see something online and you know like is that something I actually need or is this just something I just want to buy for the sake of it um and then I'm gonna keep track of like the the expenses for each project so this has been filled out in my other planners but I just have to transfer it uh, I just want to keep track of like how much I spent per project um we do a lot of DIY so it's not that expensive but still fun to just like see how much we spent and then i still have more future projects I, I planned out like for example i'm doing the living room and the baby's room and the storage um so i just want to write down like any ideas there and then i'm keeping track of all the thrifted items because we love thrift shopping um i just want to keep track of like how much we spend per piece um just because it's really fun because my husband's always like Oh my god how much do we spend on that um and sometimes i remember most of the times i remember but i'm just trying to free up my brain for other more important things um this is a project i'm working on with my friend and then i have my career section where i have reading lists for that i'm an architect and interior designer so i just want to like keep updated with like knowledge and then I have my license number and all the association numbers that I have. And then just keeping track of like the continuing education requirements for each. So I can like keep track of that. I was really bad this year. And then also I usually do lunch and learn at work. But because of the quarantine situation, like I'm not able to do that right now. So I have to like buy courses or whatever to like just satisfy that requirement. Um, and I'm taking the lead exam at some point this year, I think. So I want to just come up with like a plan for studying for that. That's the sustain sustainability uh, certification exam uh, for home inter uh, for interior designers and architects. And I want to write out all of my projects because I've been working for quite some time and I have done a lot of projects i just want to keep track of like what did i do at this point it's kind of hard to remember what i actually did um lessons learned i just want to write down like key lessons learned like mistakes i made like can i avoid this for next time uh accomplishments that's just good for you know if you're interviewing or doing an annual review that's just good to have that goals and then I'm working on my portfolio now. I'm starting to work on my portfolio now because we're home and I have my laptop. So it's easy to get access to things. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then I have my language section. So I'm studying Japanese. I've studied it in college for two full years and I just don't want to give it up. I don't want to lose it. So I'm gonna take the level three exam, um, JLPT exam. Um, so I have a study plan and then I'm probably gonna just write down key information that I need to remember for this exam. Um, and then I have a study log. So I just like write out 
when I did it, what did I do? Like, what page is it? So this page is referring to my A5 notebook, which I will show you in a second. And then the piano section is just like all the pieces that I want to learn. Uh, the classic portions are here. And then I also have like the contemporary pieces that my husband requested. Um, and then I want to keep uh, like, just like have a translation for some of the music terms. Um, and then tips because I have really small hands. So for example, um, sometimes it's really hard for me to play pieces that require humongous male hands and I don't have that. So it's just like stuff like that. I just want to write that here just so I can remember like also tips for like how to memorize a piece faster or like how to learn a piece faster. Um, and then I plan on teaching Sterling. Sterling is my kid, which is why my account is called Sterling Inc. Um, uh, I'm plan on teaching Sterling and the other kids if I'm more, um, how to play the piano. So I just want to like look up how to do that. Um, I want to keep track of all my p uh, piano music books and then practice a lot. I want to just hold myself accountable so I can practice more. Uh, Self-care. This is really fun. These pages are from my personal uh, size binder. And I have my routine written out for skincare. And I have contacts that I'm going to write out for like all of my skincare related um, people. Um, and then I have this pull-out section for, I made this for me because I want to learn how to do front split, middle split, and I want to open up my shoulders more because um, I feel like I'm hunching so much. Um, just like, you know, just sitting at the desk and all that stuff. So I just want to stretch out more. And then I want to do a full bow. I used to be able to do these things, so I just want to get to that point again and then I have this wall chest stretch because my shoulders hurt from just like sitting at my desk and holding the baby all day and then I have like a pull out from my personal binder um just of all the months so I can write out like when I did what so I can keep track and then I'm probably gonna fill out some more stuff here and um probably gonna like write out some like products that I've used and if the ones that I really like, I want to put it here. And if I, if there are things I want to stay away from, I also want to, want to keep that there. And then family and home, I didn't really fill out yet, but that's going to be, family is more about the people, like uh, people in my home, like my husband, my kids, whatever. And then home is more for just like the house itself, the apartment itself, like um, stuff you need to do for that. And then it's also going to have like recipes and all that thing, all of those things. Um, finance section, a purchase list. So I want to keep uh, keep track of like things we need to buy for different like, categories. So I have household, I have sterling, here's my kids, uh, education um self-care and then stationery. um and then i just want to write out a list of things i need to buy so like the next time i want amazon i try to just like tally it up and buy everything together um and then when i have a section i have this written out in my personal binder but i haven't like copied it over uh but it's just like plans and strategy for like financial stuff um, cause me and my husband are always talking about it. I just want to keep, uh, like write it down so we don't forget like about investments and all of that. Um, savings tracker. I just want to just tally up like how much we save per month. So that's fun to look at. And then income tracker, like um, my income is the same every month. Um, but my husband, because he gets overtime pay, so it's different. And then we also have rental income, so I just want to like keep track of like everything. And then 
tax return. I want to keep track of like how much return we got each year and how much we paid for the accountant fee um, because I like can't remember that at all. <clears throat> and then I have a debt section. So I have, this is from my personal binder and I just like put um, the amortization schedule into like a spread and then I just like cross things off as I pay things off uh pay like that month's off or like if I'm making extra payments then I just cross off two or three depending on how much extra I'm paying so that's really motivating and really fun every month um and I have a debt tracker so this is a I call it a snowball uh debt tracker um but it really applies to anything so you start out with your balance at the top and then you fill out the months and then um, you write out how much payment you made and then what the balance is afterwards. And then my plan is after I pay off the first one, um, then I just put that um, payment onto the next one. So it just like keeps on going. Um, so that's really fun. And then coupons, I just want to keep track of my coupons because I always forget where they are can't keep track of them and I have vendor and discount and then the code and then also the expiration date because like oftentimes like I forget when it expires and then by the time I want to actually use it it's expired and I just have a check um circle thing uh, in the front if it's been used because I don't really like crossing things off unless it's like the debt thing um, so I like to just like check the thing off in the front and then chaos, that's our like rental thing that we had with my husband. Um, these are not filled out obviously, but projects, I have a section for projects because I'm always, I'm so good at dreaming up like new things to do for myself. So that's going to be that, um, just like whatever thing that pops out into my head, I'll Put that here temporarily and then eventually if it's a real thing then i'll just give it a section tab um and what's missing in this binder right now is uh, knitting and also gardening stuff um so i need to work on those and then i have a password section i keep the passwords for me and my parents because they can't remember anything and they asked me what the password was and i can't remember either um and then originally I had a miscellaneous section with a bunch of uh, extra inserts, but my mom saw my binder and she wanted one. So I gave her all the extra inserts. So that's why there's only one sheet here. And then at the end, I have this Foxy Fix uh, page lifter, uh, which comes in really handy because, especially because my rings are so big, so I have to like pull out all the inserts like this when I close. So that's my A5. Oh my gosh, it's already 40 minutes, but I'll go through this really quickly. Um, this is my A5 Apunto. Um, I have my A5 Nanami notebook in it. Um, this is the cross field. Cross field. I don't know if you can see. But it's actually little crosses, not circles. I didn't like their circles, so I, I chose this instead. Um, so it has 480 pages in it. I numbered all the pages, both odd and even. I mean, even and odd. I have a black Ollie clip in the front for whatever thing I need to put. Uh, I have an index for just important information so I can like easily find them. Um, so I started out this planner on uh, this notebook on March 20th. And what I did at first was planning out like all the different sections I needed for my A5. So there were like a bunch of, it, it was out of order. It's just like whatever I could think of, I would put it here. And then what I did was I went over it again and I kind of tried to put them in the correct order. Like for example, goals and inspiration should be in. Um, so I wrote out all the sections um, in order. 
um, and then I just referenced it when I was putting together my A5 and then I had this posted and it just kind of like went through the different content items and I wrote out what type of insert it required then I just tallied it up and printed it out um, and then just like you know daily planning stuff um, post-its so I was like doing some designs for inserts here, insert design. And then it was, this was for my baby's birthday. I was making some Korean rice cakes. So I put the recipe there. Um, this is like my recipe because um, the flour we are using is different from the ones they use in Korea. So it requires different amounts of everything. So that's what I was doing there. And then, um, Finding out like new releases, so more stuff, uh, just like to do's. And then this is my routines box. So I I plan on doing a ginormous routines card uh, for basically everything. So I started out with yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, um, blank. And then as I'm just like going about out about my day, I'll think of something and I'll just drop it in. Oh, like daily, I want to do this or weekly. I want to do this. Um, and then that's what it is. Um, and then I also, so something different about this notebook that I'm like about the way I'm using this is I'm also using this as a study notebook. Um, <clears throat> because this is where I'm like studying for my Japanese test and I learned by repetition um so I just want to get in the habit of like writing some of these characters so I know like it can be built into my muscle memory um but I don't necessarily need to have a separate notebook for that because then I'll just never use it so it's just kind of nice to be in one notebook for like everything that I need to do so I don't have to like switch around and like get distracted um so this is really, this has been really helpful. So that's my more Japanese stuff. And I try to like keep it kind of consistent with the deco. Um, now to-do list, more Japanese stuff, and then just like more daily to-do things. So that's it here. And I won't go too much into my everyday carry right now because it's not complete, but this is basically going to have like a condensed, like most of essential information from my A5 binder that I need to carry around with me. So for example, um, um, while I'm at work, sometimes like my um, management where my rentals are will contact me about something or like my tenant will contact me about something like water leak or whatever. And then I have to go into my contact section under you know, the rentals to see like who to contact, which plumber I need to call and blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm doing here. And um, I will have like more like various sections like that in here, just so I can like reference it. And it just makes me feel good to have that with me. Um, and then this is like mainly just like to do's. I've done like more more like detailed flip of this so you can like go back and look at that but it's just like has like a future planning section i have like a like a what is this oh this is my routine section and then i have my daily section which just opens up with like a monthly and then to do's it's just really just like daily to do's so that's really really fun to look at just like flip through which is why I can't give up this notebook but since we've been home like I haven't really needed to use this much so that's just where it is okay guys that was a really long video I hope you enjoyed it I hope I didn't bore you um but that's it thank you bye